Uh, then of course, um, some will say they report that they also have fevers. <laughs> At night they have rashes and of course insomnia, insomnia, lack of sleep. Is that that one is uh, physical, right? Okay, so maybe we can move on to the psychological part of it. Now this is where it's very important to understand how mental health is related to. I mean, a heartbreak is related to mental health. So maybe let's go to the uh, psychological and emotional symptoms of a heartbreak. Uh, thank you, Ashera. I would say that uh, the first symptom that uh, a person who has a heartbreak experiences is uh, grief or uh, that sadness. You feel so sad that you have, you see, you have lost someone. and welcome to the mental health show with me washer thank you so much for joining us uh to today's show and of course uh, as usual those who are watching us from home please make sure that you comment uh down there and of course make sure that you subscribe to showtime tv and also make your way here at uh, uh pumpkin house fourth floor we are here we showcase movies we have a studio so make sure you join us guys and of course it's always a privilege to have uh, kiambati foundation joining us for our show remember that today's topic is how to handle a heartbreak so joe as usual it's an, uh, an always nice to see you so maybe you can introduce yourself to maybe people who have never uh, heard from you before so uh, on only viewers uh, i am joe kambati the ceo and the founder of kambati foundation and we're here today to talk about how we can grieve and handle heartbreaks yes thank you so much so karibu sana okay thank you uh, my name is charles madenge uh, i am a businessman i am a health mentor a mental health activist and part of kiabati foundation i'm glad to be here thank you you're welcome so as i've said those watching us from home please make sure that you have contributed to this topic which kind of like uh, stereotyped in a way or it's taken for granted but until you suffer one is when you realize that oh it can actually be a major problem so maybe we can start by uh, maybe defining what a heartbreak is because heartbreak, but they have never really understood what a heartbreak is so yes uh -huh. uh, thank you Ashera. i would say <laughs> Uh, heartbreak ni ile uh, character development unagogwa na maisha <laughs> uh, but uh, in a professional way we would de describe it as a mental uh, it's a pain uh, emotional pain that you get uh, probably it, uh, it may be caused by a uh, loss of a uh, uh, loved one uh, end of a romantic relationship yeah or betrayal or maybe uh, a disappointment yeah so you might have a uh, heartbreak because of such scenarios mm -hmm. yeah okay so maybe people would assume somebody who's never suffered a heartbreak would assume i ioni roho in aumia but they might not know that the pain actually comes from elsewhere so he has said that it's normally caused by you know romantic relationships but actually can you suffer a heartbreak from another type of you know maybe separation or is it always a romantic relationship coming to an end <coughs> Uh, let me okay. Uh, he give the definition of heartbreak. Heartbreak, I could jangi only in a romantic relationship, but we still have other stages of life that we explain heartbreaks. Mm -hmm. Let's say one loses a loved one, yes. maybe a shoshu aguka. Mm -hmm. There is that hard time that one usually have. Yes. So that's still another heartbreak. We can still talk about uh, <clears throat> a young. What do you call? Nini the so yeah. Traumatization, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, trauma. yeah, yeah, yeah. Traumatization mm -hmm. still causes heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Una say he's so desperate. Yeah. yeah. So we cannot only major with a romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. We still have other areas in life mm -hmm. which we experience heartbreak. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know why was it called a heartbreak. I mean, oh, I know because because the heart is the one that carries all the feelings and all that. But anyway, so how can you tell that somebody is suffering? A heartbreak 
you know like a serious one see is that you may atia jaku text and you're like guy niko so heartbroken it's ile take for example a marriage has come to an end or this betrayal in a romantic relationship how can you tell that that person is actually suffering from a major heartbreak okay washera i think uh, uh, the reason why i don't know if it's the right thing uh, but uh, why it's called a heartbreak <laughs> in my scenario i would say that <laughs> maybe it's because it's felt close to the heart yeah. you see yeah when we uh, experience emotional pain or emotional pleasure we feel it somewhere close to our hearts maybe that's why they called it uh, a heartbreak yeah. uh, i would say that uh, one one of the thing we would notice with someone who has been heartbroken is that they are emotionally disturbed Yeah that person uh, even if uh, he or she is sitting somewhere you'll, you'll tell that this person is emotionally disturbed because uh, uh, he or she is not uh, comfortable he is not relaxed he has a lot of stress and pressure yeah a lot of things are happening in in his or her mind yes. that maybe you cannot tell uh, unless that person opens up to you yeah Yes. Uh well of course it's important for us to know that um heartbreak actually affects our mental health. Yeah, it's you know anxiety goes up, depression goes up, even physically. Maybe you can talk about the physical symptoms of heartbreak. You can be somebody is literally kwana kaivi the next day they are looking different. So maybe you can first of all talk about the physical symptoms of a heartbreak. Okay thank you. One of the physical symptoms we have is uh, abnormal headache. Abnormal headache. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know we are different. Yes. We perceive heartbreak in different ways. Mm-hmm. Um tutaskia amesema he, he or she has a heart uh, ah headache yeah mm-hmm. severe headache. So then you can still talk about fear. No I'm say I'm your gopa. You know but they uh that uh, still on the other part of the emotional mm-hmm. fear you know fear is physical yes. and fear is still emotional mm-hmm. uh like let's say after a romantic heartbreak you will fear dating you yeah. know that fear yeah. of dating when you tap a character development <laughs> so we have fear and we have a uh, severe headache mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. all right some would say that uh people will suffer acne like for example you can find someone with a lot of acne like easy marashes and uh, of course even weight loss and sometimes even adding weight cuz i i understand that stress also because of the mental energy that you're using you will tend to eat more than you usually eat, uh, eat. But I'm not saying that because you started growing you become a plus size or because you you know you're suffering some kind of stress but that could be one of the symptoms the extreme case scenario where by they are commute uh, you you see a person committing suicide because of a, of a heartbreak so we should look at this uh, uh, scenario in a very serious matter because it affects it is affecting even now a lot of uh, our young people and even uh, older generations yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you can see even break uh, broken marriages whereby for example i had, i was reading a story in uh, i don't know the i can't remember the name of the blogger uh, but uh, the guy was working in uh, po- uh, the police force mm-hmm. then she made the wife uh, red hearted you see so uh, at that point you experience <laughs> the hardest heartbreak of your lifetime yeah. and then the guy because uh, he had the weapon mm-hmm. he decided to to shoot the guy you see those are cases that are being caused by heart uh, heartbroken souls yeah mm-hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right we also, we've also had cases of uh, people uh, killing each other in marriages and people will be like oh my god are they wamerogo or what what you know so, you know before you make a decision when you're angry it's good to take uh, time to think about it i know a heartbreak is really bad it actually doesn't go away fast people think that i'll suffer a heartbreak today but you have to understand that before someone heals from a heartbreak they need a lot of time it can even take them years you just have to be patient with them so does it get better does it get better like after you suffer a heartbreak does it really get to the same point it, that it was before for example i love somebody who had broke me some years back and will i ever get back to that point at any time in my life okay washera mm-hmm. i would say that uh, when you experience that heartbreak everything you experience in your life 
you are you are supposed to learn something from from it so when you experience that uh, heartbreak you should take it as a, an opportunity to discover who you are yeah. you know at that uh, at that moment when you are broken yeah kabisa your moment you are supposed to take and start discovering who you are okay yeah you maybe even you can de discover a hobby or something you you yeah. you like doing uh, but because your mind was so crowded with the the other person yeah boys <laughs> and now I'm a kukata. So you're supposed to when uh, you can discover a new hobby, maybe uh, you take me heartbreak once I could swim. Here at that moment, you discover hey, kube I love. Uh, you realize you, you love swimming. Now unanza ati unanza pata umeanza kufanya professionally. Yeah, yeah. 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 Time. Yeah. You're uh, you thinking of violence and uh, such. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that will make us, you know, like, not make us actually. We are going to the effect, the do's and the don'ts of when you're suffering a heartbreak because this is very, very important. And now we, uh, we know that uh, once in a once in a while, one will suffer a heartbreak, and it's inevitable. I'm not saying that. But there's something that So, um, does it, you, you've told me it doesn't get, but it get, it get, I was asking, do you get back to the same point you were before? Do you ever heal from that or will those scars will keep on rupturing every now and then? I think it's a matter of uh, choice. Uh -huh. yeah, you make a personal choice, you know. You can make uh, everything we do in life is the choices we make. So you can make a choice eh, to take time and effort to heal yourself, and probably you may regain your uh, prior uh, situation where you are. Okay. But it can you can still be able to develop even better than where you were. Okay. Yeah. It's not necessarily that you may you may love the same person, but you may even fight better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you have something to add? Yeah. Actually, it gets better. It gets better. Uh -huh. One, you accept the situation. You must accept that you may die if it is, and now you must now focus. Uh -huh. Now, it has already happened. Uh -huh. What should I do? One, should uh, embrace self care. Uh -huh. Yeah, and self treatment. Self care. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, unaji treat uh -huh. self care. Uh -huh. Then uh, you should uh, uh, obtain support support you have a friend have a friend you can uh, disclose anything yes. to him or her so tell her, this is a situation that i'm going through i need your help then you can be hopeful mm -hmm. that all shall be well you know yeah. as kambati foundation you do say that we plant a hope mm -hmm. so be hopeful that everything shall shall be okay, shall be okay. Right. yeah then of course uh seek guidance and counseling of course it is a mental issue and it is actually not a simple thing so uh they say that if you suffer multiple heartbreaks because you might get away from these you go to another you suffer another and that it makes you stronger yes your so a heartbreak is what you call character development yeah <laughs> Okay, so Kisafa is a character development mingi, you get stronger. That even when somebody else had breaks you, it wouldn't be as severe as the first one. Is it really true? Is it a myth? Or does it depend on with the intensity of the love you have towards this new person? Yeah. Or, eh? See, we do learn from experiences. Actually, we do learn from experience. So the more experience, more heart breaks. The more you rise strong, yeah, yeah, <laughs> hey. yeah, yeah. We, we learn from experience. No, no. Same with my Peter breaks mingi. By the way, we do learn from our mystics. Yes. The more we make mystic, the more we learn how you should yes. now prove yourself that you are right. Mm -hmm. So the more we pity a mingi, the more we learn a lot of people how people should be held, yeah. and you grow. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, I don't know if this was bad advice or what, but I was told that if, you, for example, you meet a person and you want to spend the rest of your life with, you don't give them 100% of your love. Give them around 70. Then, Jibakshi 30, for just in case they heartbreak you, that that is going to support you. Is that good advice or is it boot? <laughs> I think, uh, Washera. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, uh, I would not argue in terms of the percentage you are supposed to give someone, but I would say that uh, in matters relationships, you are supposed to be uh, to have a hundred percent love for yourself. Yes. No, no. Uh -huh. uh, don't leave someone to love you uh, better than you do love yourself, yes. or you love someone better than you do love yourself. So, in case where in a case where you are getting into maybe a romantic uh, relationship. Uh, love the person even the holy book tells us mm -hmm. love them as you as you love yourself yeah. so uh, most of us make a mistake of loving them more mm -hmm. you are doing for them even things that you cannot do for yourself yeah so when that person uh, gets to a point whereby he notice he or she notices this mm -hmm. she may she or he may take advantage of your situation yeah. you know now uh, he or she understands that you love you love uh, you love uh, them more mm -hmm. than you love yourself yes. so uh, they can take advantage of you mm -hmm. yeah because uh, at that moment you are vulnerable whereby you have already loved someone more yeah. than you <laughs> so so you are supposed to love someone to the equal measure yes. whereby you you, uh, you love yourself yeah. so in the uh, scenario whereby that person decides to walk out of your life you have your own dignity. You love yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, most people will give their all. Like, when a guy wants you to be available, you're available, you'll do anything for them. You never see any fault in them. So, if you're suffering a heartbreak and you're cuddling that pillow, and you're crying, and you're listening to the music, your heartbreak throughout your, you know, your night, now unasikia gawad to word. By the way, your song is slap. Unasikizo kiskiza ngoma moja the whole day. This is the show for you. This is the show for you. He has said, you should love your partner equally venye wewe unajipenda. Don't give them a hundred percent and then wewe ubaki bila anything. Okay? And always know that they are not perfect. Okay? They can make flaws. You don't have to make time for them all the time when you can't. You don't have to do anything that they wish. Atawa, by the way, when you mesa mo kionyesha mtu unampenda sana ni yonateki yanga advantage. Actually, there are people like those ones. Narcissist. When you show them that you can do anything for them, ata wewe jifanya get away hot cake kidogo. Yes, that is how the respect comes in. You're not always available for them. So now let's go to the do's and the don'ts of a heartbreak. Now, I know I'm suffering a heartbreak right now. So what am I supposed to do? What, how should I handle it? We had talked about seeing a counselor, being with your friends. But what are do the don'ts? Let's talk about the don'ts. Uh -huh. One of the don'ts, mm -hmm. don't try to retrieve your relationship at the moment, to retrieve your relationship at the moment. Mm -hmm. So you find, the more you are you're retrieving, the more you tendele ya kutumiwa. This is the other part in ataona, eh, you know, it seems a real. <laughs> seems a real, ataona, eh, I'm a sim sana. So yeah. at this time, naiza itikia, but I'll be using him or yeah, her. Exactly. Yeah, so don't try, mm -hmm. it's a warning. Don't try, don't try it at home. <laughs> don't try to retrieve the relationship. Yes. The other thing is uh, the don'ts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, avoid much any interaction with friends, friends yes. of your partner. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You know, they will bring you down by the way. Yeah, uh, Nini. Mm -hmm. yeah, just take calm, um, take your time, yeah. and create boundaries. Yeah. yeah. All right. On the, uh -huh. on the don'ts, uh -huh. when you are trying to contain this heartbreak, uh -huh. avoid sana sana. Uh -huh. yeah, don't unajua uh, sayo sasa umekuwa emotionally broken. Yes. Sasa when you are trying to find a solution to this, uh -huh. please don't get into drugs and uh, substance abuse. True. True. Yeah, because most of people tend to go to comfort themselves using this. Unataka kitu yenye? Ita kuchaganya akili. Like we see the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As in. <laughs> As in. Usaha usasa ati umekua oh, yes. at break. And so uh, don't go after ex ati kukunywa sana. Yes. Iyo excessive drinking. Uh, alafu zile kuna thot zigine zina kujianga mse. Na ito suicidal. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I would uh, I would uh, suggest that that person uh, uh, at least goes for professional help. Kama you may think at that level, whereby you have suicidal thoughts, don't afford to end up with professional help. Maybe call a therapist. Oh, 
eh, counselor because at that uh, moment hiyo mtu akianza kuigiza hizo thoughts eh mnaweza mpata amehanga nyama na si poa eh atutaki watu wajipime kilo yes. yeah. Yeah. and you know the worst part about okay i have never underrated suicide and it's never your fault it's never somebody's fault but actually you should have a topic on suicide because people think ule msi alijimada je kwani hakuwa na akili nzuri but they have never understood the intensity of how much depression that um, that person has by the time they they, they think of uh, committing suicide so of course uh, do something that you love the way uh, what he said that for example you maybe you love swimming you might find out that you actually a diver yani yeah? And of course uh oh, another question I wanted to ask does it hit okay yeah mm -hmm. uh, adding something on that uh, avoid uh, avoid uh developing a negative attitude towards the people eh uh -huh. yes. yeah and uh unajua kuna watu wasemanga siwezi date tena manzi hiyo hiyo karadome ni chapa vibaya siwezi so avoid uh, developing a negative attitude towards love yes. There are people out here who need love, care, and people who have great minds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so avoid. Yes. Uh, uh, simply yeah, avoid. Sure. So you wouldn't say like Mimi sit out why said Kimambo ya wana wana ume because that was that person or that was that lady who had broke you. But people are different. So speaking of that, does it hit differently? women and men so let's talk about women heartbreak and men heartbreak in my own understanding i understand that women grief a lot when it comes to heartbreak but when a man breaks up with a woman they'll be like yeah i'm free i'm free i'm free but the woman will take time will take time to heal and heal but then afterwards the heartbreak now starts hitting the man is it true is it different when it comes to men and women considering that women are more emotional than men uh, thank you washera you see in every scenario in every relationship lazima kuna kuanga na yule mse anapenda kuliko yule mwingine and that's the person who keeps pushing who keeps calling who keeps smsing yeah, who keeps the fire burning let's say that and that and then when the heartbreak occurs that is the person who feels the most it doesn't matter whether he is the he or a she yeah if it was the man who was pushing for this thing and they wanted this relation to work out that's the person who will feel a uh, hit the hardest yeah when it if it was the lady who was pushing for it yes. and the who was seeing the future in this man at agogwa sana na yok so i will look at it in the terms of eh mwenye alikuwa ame give eh all unaona mwenye alikuwa ame put all the efforts everything into that relationship so that it can work yeah okay mm. so you have something to say yeah. mm -hmm. i'll be <coughs> i'll be this with a no just in the ndume wanaume so the moment umepata hard break una wale majama wako ati wewe mwanaume unalia nini unaona but the moment utaachana na mabisti utaenda oh my goodness what happened there is kuna hiyo time itafika then you start regretting but you eh atisho kak so women tunakuanga na ile tunapea nanga saik ah unalia nini buda yeah. lakini kuna ile time you will be you alone in your room yeah. and uh, now feelings naanza kukushika mm -hmm. yeah naanza yeah memories right behind the curtains uh, eh? masculinity <laughs> masculinity you don't uh, expose your vulnerability so ufai kuonyeshana unalia so demo akikwambia tukakate unajifanya unamwambia uh, unataka ishe mm -hmm. Uh, so kubu naenda kulilia kwa <laughs> but wewe taka any of the person ajue yeah. kubu jamaa alikuwa ameenda kuli unaweza lilishwa na mapenzi wewe eh yeah. yeah. <laughs> wewe si mwanaume yeah, that's what we men do <laughs> yeah what men believe that men still believe that situation tu but in the next few minutes nitakuwa na mwingine you know there is that mentality in men <laughs> mamo different hey hey so you nini men should you need to eliminate that mentality yes. about that ah sini mm -hmm. one one mm -hmm. napata mwingine so your mentality as men we should cut yes. it off exactly hey. your course culture culture <laughs>
culture sorry culture is something that is hindering actually it's contributing to depression people have never understood that especially for you guys you told mwanaume mwanaume ni kujikaza so you guys mna hata watoto wadogo wakionekana wakilia unalia na wewe ni mwanaume but they have never understood that they are crying and letting go of, it's it's a way of letting out the emotions that's why you find wanawake wengi wanaga stress wanaume nyo mnakoga na stress ju mnajekea vitu ndani ama mhm so i was <laughs> kuna beshte yangu aliniambia at even if you are ukiwa mwanaume and you're in a serious relationship please make sure you are still talking each day to to beautiful girls around ume lazima kukuwa na backup mzee so don't go kwa relationship serious vile lazima pia unajeke uko huyu akiweza ngoka so gradually na nia igi so that that's the advice men are being given out there out there but i'm not recommending it but uh, it will depend with the person either way, yeah but what i would uh, emphasize ni mtu akiongo na hiyo heartbreak manze asiende kwa negative hizo uh, za kujaribu ku good yeah. yeah don't go to drugs at once at ni mapate and mahuot yeah all, all uh, kuna watu wengine pia they become so uh, vulnerable mm-hmm. in such that hakuna mtu haezi kubali yes. just ku ku, uh, ku, feel, ku feel the vacuum yenye yeah. amepata so kila mse amemkatia sawa mm-hmm. so and the person uh, na watu wanajua kutumia watu vibaya kwanza so uki wakijua eh kwanza wanaume wanaabianaga ukitaka kunini again na yule dem kube jude marigogo heartbreak na yako ana expect wanakuja tu kwako na line mm? na wewe wewe ni kusema dio huyu anakuwa dio you see such scenarios should not yeah. happen to you sure. yeah 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 actually it's good to know that uh, there are people out there who will take advantage of you when you have a heartbreak especially my dame dame akiwa na heartbreak ameka tu mahali analia and una una toboka all the oh he did this and this the guys like oh my god i'm sorry can you can you come over and stuff akisha kumalizia ivo so it is good to be wise when you have a heartbreak don't always be available because that's the time when uh, men by the men will always come your time hata ukiwa na heartbreak madam ni wanaanza kukuja wanaanza kukuja wengi like ah come life was but was was easier without the relationship but it's good to be wise enough but because we have talked about taking advantage just let's talk about rebounds a rebound in this case i mean some uh, some people who tend to come to fill in those gaps of a heartbreak for example if i break up with my man then i meet somebody who i probably think that is going to fill that void you understand so that's a rebound so how do i know that i am not a rebound that maybe i am helping somebody to heal from a heartbreak Okay. Oh, Washara, mm-hmm. uh, I would say that uh, when you experience a heartbreak mm-hmm. uh, it's important to take time mm-hmm. you know yes. because uh, they have said it time and again that time heals all wounds mm-hmm. even emotional yes. yeah. so when you experience a heartbreak uh, stop rushing to feeling the the void yes. yeah in fact uh, that moment take that moment mm-hmm. to love yourself the best you can yes. yeah because you ca- uh, you might probably make a wrong decision mm-hmm. based on what's happening on your mind yeah. because you just want to fill that void yeah, yeah so take your time uh, efforts uh, that may be able you uh, may take efforts that will help you at least keep your mind busy yeah. uh, for example you can start uh, doing regular exercises mm-hmm. yes. yeah well, exercise helps a lot yeah in fact yeah. Uh, do good nutrition yeah. you see have a good sleep sleep well you know, at those moments yeah treat yourself yes. have ile ile self care enye unajipenda kabisa uh, you at least that amse akikuja you are not accepting because you are in a situation of a heartbreak yes. yeah you are you have your logical mind uh, right yeah True. Mm. then of course when you decide to have those rebounds probably you might end up making wrong decisions you might go get drunk probably even contract uh, hiv and aids and other sexually transmitted diseases in a in a way you thought that i'll heal if i go with this lady but then you find more and more problems keep coming in so it's good that you take as much time to heal from that heartbreak so that now you make a major decision right yeah. mhm i can still on something uh <clears throat> we say that we give yourself time yeah. to heal mm-hmm. now after healing avoid payback 
revenge <laughs> revenge yeah yes. so because someone uh, had had broke you now you say now it's my time mm-hmm. now it's my time yeah. i must pay back sure. so avoid then another thing is uh, avoid faking your personality mm-hmm. so that you can please the the other you know, <clears throat> the other partner so you know nowadays people are faking their personality mm-hmm. to fit in relationship mm-hmm. but that's uh, one of the major causes of heartbreak yeah. i may fake my personality but deep in me i'm not yeah. that joe yeah. yeah so that obvious in town i faked so that i can fit in the standard of yes. that lady but after some time in town the lady is not of my standard mm-hmm. then you are heartbroken mm-hmm. yeah right. yeah avoid be back mm-hmm. and uh avoid faking your your personality yeah. Yeah. yeah good it's good to you know you cannot be in a relationship you are hurting and you're still sticking around because you feel that if i leave i'm going to lose if i leave i'm going to lose it's good that if you want to rekindle your relationship it's good that you talk about it kama umekasirika umekasirika kuna cha kuficha yeah let them understand how you felt wasn't easy and they should give you time to heal right something uh there's a main uh, a major uh, i would say a point or by if you are experiencing a heartbreak mm-hmm. because in our culture and uh, the society we are set up in mm-hmm. we are spiritual people and uh, we do go for we have churches we have mosques yes. and those who do traditional prayers so when you are experiencing a heartbreak uh, you uh, you can uh, associate with your hi- a higher power uh, whoever it is if it's jesus for those with muhammad uh, whoever you pray to yes. pray to that uh, being for for me I, I am a christian so i would pray uh, to god uh, to come into my situation yes. yeah because uh, spirituality plays a major role by the way in uh, dealing with issues that we face in every day yeah so uh, you can also do some meditation yeah yeah because it will help ease your mind because of the most of the thoughts that are, are happening in your head when you do uh, you practice meditation and mindfulness mindfulness is being aware that you are thinking and choosing the thoughts that you are uh, you are choosing to to think yes. yeah so you are supposed to practice uh, mindfulness maybe meditation and be prayerful uh, for for that uh, situation too uh, so that you may overcome that situation yeah Okay. So I can see that uh, our time is almost uh, gone now. So unless if there's anybody who suffered a heartbreak, but I think that's a story for another day because I can see my director really rushing, but it's good to know that at a, at some point if you've suffered a heartbreak, it probably wasn't your fault, but it's I want to don't say it's part of life but uh please follow what our counselors have told us today so please don't make any stupid decision especially keep off drugs keep off drugs kabisa because isn't just like a driving force to making the wrong decision so unless if we have a, like a parting shot and then we can wind up the show <coughs> the parting shot is that uh, tonight at 8:30 we'll be talking uh, we have a gents talk mm-hmm. uh, facilitated by gents talk africa and uh, we we'll share the link okay. uh, so i'm calling upon all men ladies release your men mm-hmm. <laughs> we're having a talk mm-hmm. <laughs> online i'll washera you will share the link okay. in your platforms mm-hmm. uh, so kindly men mm-hmm. tupatane hapo wana mama unataki ku include my dear take it easy okay for me as my parting shot I would say that in every experience that you are passing through in your life because we pass through various experiences yeah and most of them are positive and negative uh, I would emphasize that we embrace positivity in everything that goes on in our mind uh, in our lives whether it's positive or negative make sure that for you you are in the positive side of it yeah Thank you so much for being to, uh, together with us today. It's always a pleasure to have you. So if you are there suffering a heartbreak or if you haven't, please take comfort and I'm really sorry for what you're going through. But with time, it's going to go away. I promise it's going to get much better. So thank you for joining us today. I've been your host, Washira Ikonyo, together with the Kiambati Foundation. Please make sure you subscribe to Showtime TV Nyeri and also to my YouTube channel at Washira Ikonyo. And don't forget to visit our cinema theater right here at Pumpkin House, fourth floor along, along uh, Kiambati Street, right next to the Safari Com Shop to enjoy the best movies. And of course, uh, don't forget that you also have a studio 
call Showtime Studios to get your best photos. So I'll see you on the next one and take care of your heart. My ex should know I yield. <laughs> and his ex should know he yield. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll take off your photos.